Hi, um, I'm Sinead Hughes. Patrick Hughes. And we're the owners of Sunhill Bloodstock in the beautiful Maslin Ranges in Riddles Creek in Victoria. Um, so myself and Patrick usually start, um, we s all the yearlings, uh, about the beginning of September, we start sweet feeding out in the paddocks. Um, so by the time they actually come into our stables, um, as you'll see today, um, they have best coats on them, they're healthy, they're, they're hardy, they're, they look fantastic. Yeah, at this time of year, they look great. Um, and we usually start them out at about eight to ten week prep, depending on the individual yearlings and what they're like out in the, out in the paddocks. Um, but we generally bring them in. Um, we start them off very slowly. They've already been handled beforehand, so bring them in for us is not a, they're, they're not stressed in any way. For the first week or two, it's mainly just handling them, hand walking, a um, little bit of the chitneys in their mouths, they wouldn't be clipped up. No. Um, it's just more reassurance for the yearlings to know that everything's okay, we're, you're doing really well. We brush them, you know, they might have their first bat, um, but it's all baby steps within the first one or two weeks to give them more reassurance. Yeah, exactly. Um, rug them, um, and then after, I really find after three or four weeks, then we put the rollers on them and we start pushing them a little bit extra. Um, at that stage, their fitness level is coming up. Um, and we really need to start pushing them as, as well. The trainers love buying our yearlings because they're basically broken in as they get them. So, And actually that's a really good point because mm. any uh, trainers really buy, a lot of trainers buy all of our yearlings um, and any, any of them that have come back, they have really recommended us and said how easy it was when the yearlings got back to either spell them or if some of them needed to be broken in straight away, the groundwork was done, the rolling was done, mm -hmm. and um, they really um, have come back and give us a pat on our back that the yearlings are fantastic once they get back to them. And mm -hmm. I think the likes of Peter Moody coming back and giving me a pat on the back and giving That's us right, a pat on the back. Yeah. Um, you know, they, they can't recommend us highly enough on how well we do with our yearlings. And today, um, we still have another 100% clearance rate. Because what we do is we do we prep the yearlings so well, um, and the gastro aid every day. Yeah, um, right. It is fantastic. It's between the bad and good bacteria. It just maintains a healthy gut gut system, and um, we we find that once we start the yearlings on it, after a couple of weeks, the improvement is phenomenal. Um, so myself and Patrick this year um, did a 10 day trial with the gastro um, aid every day. Um, we were a little bit apprehensive about doing it. So what we did was we had a paddock of mares, separated two paddocks, one which was on the gastro health every day and a group of mares that wasn't. Um, and we found that with using the 10 day trial, um, the hind gut um, maintenance, um, we found that the mares obviously works well it works yeah it works <laughs> yeah. really well with the folds and it didn't scour as much as the mares that we didn't have on it um so i think from our own sakes next year we will be introducing it to all the mares all the mares, uh, all the mares on the property mm -hmm. um you're not having folds coming in scouring really bad and the other thing too that we we were lucky about this year um, but a lot of farms, obviously when the folds get scary, you've got to watch, watch for temperature. So, you know, yes. it, it helps so much that the oh, mares and folds that we put on, um, it, was a, it was good. It was, it, was mm -hmm. a, it was a good good trial to run. And um, so from next year on, um, all the mares will be on it. Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. I certainly would put it in with the mares, every one of them. Um, the folds even look great. They've picked up too. Yeah. And yeah, we're really happy with the, the difference. I'm glad we did it. Yeah, uh, um, but it was just on the, the folds and the mares. The mares that were on it themselves actually did, did thrive more as well. So yeah, yeah. it was um, a good trial and we're really happy with the results. Absolutely. So um, when we um, are preparing our yearlings and when we're heading to the sales, um, what we like to see for our yearlings is good top line, um, rib coverage, um, good, healthy, all round balanced yearling. Yeah, we get we get optimal um, results. Oh, we do. Yeah, it's um well, we wouldn't do a yearling prep without it. Mm. Um, it's it's just it's phenomenal. The yearlings increasing their appetite, um, and because of that, then obviously we're able to work them a little bit more. Um, by the time we get our yearlings to the yearling sales, they're up to an hour's hand walking, um, which we find once we get to the sales. They, they walk all day for us um, they never mess about and um, it's all got to do with their health they're happy and they're healthy their hind um, gut um, bacteria is fantastic there is no issues and once you bring a happy and healthy year onto the sales um, our results show for itself and yep. it's mm -hmm. all got to do with the gastro gastro aid every day and we certainly we would not go 
through a prep that I choose not.